Okay, okay, welcome back to Universe Sandbox, and uh, it seems like there was an update the last time I recorded, and now all the UI is different. I wonder if, like, some things changed, so I think I'm gonna be tinkering around just to see what is all different. Maybe the explosions have gotten a lot, like, more crazy. Let's see what happens. And... Oh, boom! Okay, so the explosions aren't really any different, but I, the UI has changed. <laughs> Kaboom! Jesus Christ. Is that gonna heat up the entire planet? <gasps> wow, I just lost like all of Japan. It's all gone. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I wonder if the craters all stay. Whoa, look at all that snow. Okay, well anyways, that's enough tinkering around. I just totally zoomed in on the sun. I think what I want to do now is that I want to make a binary or trinary solar system, and I guess I can try and see what happens when I do that with our current solar system. So, we got one sun, how about we add a second sun? Oh boy, uh, can I try and put this, like, on the same plane as the sun? Make it super close? Oh wait, ooh, oh wait, so when I add things, I can launch them? Or I can make them binary? Balance? Whoa! Okay, what if I make it binary? Oh! So now I can make this sun orbit that sun. What if I balance it? Oh, and then I can make it like super elliptical. Or I can just make it straight up orbit. Or I can just make it still. Just a still object and it'll just gravitate towards it. Cool, so you don't have to make everything orbit everything uh, a little, you know, perfectly. So let's just add a binary system then. One sun there, one sun there. One sun- <laughs> fuck it, let's just get, uh, a lot of suns just orbiting around our sun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, and this will be the battle of the suns! Yes, 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 okay, I'm probably going to be creating a lot of mayhem now. I see Mercury is kind of dipping towards the sun. Let's follow Mercury, since Mercury is the closest. I think we already- we're already losing two suns. Oh boy, Mercury- Alright, that's- that's- Okay, that fucked up. We have already had one supernova. Actually, wait, wait, has it gotten to Earth yet? Oh yeah, it's gotten to the majority of the solar system already. Alright, well, Earth? How's Earth doing in the middle of this <laughs> supernova? Earth is very bright, but still alive. From all of this supernova craziness. <laughs> it's got a very short night, too. Look at that. It's probably got a night of like a three hours, three or four hours, and then Earth becomes this bright ball of sh shit. Oh wow, there's a sun like just whizzing, whizzing by Earth. Whoa, shit. Okay, okay, Earth, okay. Earth, it's gonna be okay. I know there's many, many suns, and it's so goddamn bright outside, but you guys, put on your sunglasses, wear your sunscreen, and you'll be okay. Oh! Imagine seeing that in the sky. <laughs> Look at the shits. <laughs> oh, we got, we got these like two suns out here. I think they're just leaving the solar system. These suns are leaving the solar system. Like they're forming like their own pairs. Oh, we just had another supernova. That's great. How did that affect the Earth? Earth's like I don't care. I've been through so many supernovas in the past. We've already lost all our water. I just knocked down some water bottles because I'm not throwing things away. And that's that's an example of uh, climate change. Uh, you know, you don't you don't throw away your your trash, your your water bottles. You know, things like that may happen one day. If suns will go into supernova, and you know the whole entire solar system will go to complete shit, all because that you didn't do your duty. <laughs> There's been so many supernovas now that this whole solar system is just turning into one gigantic sun. It's a growing bubble. <laughs> My computer can barely handle this. And through all of this, Earth is actually slowing, or sorry, the, the temperature is cooling. Earth is cooling, even though we're just through all of this radiation and it can't, it can't possibly support life. We are surviving. <laughs> this <laughs> solar phenomenon. 
So now that we finally have this crazy nebula that I totally meant to make, what if we just like placed a really, really big black hole close to it? Will the black hole suck it up? Let's find out. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, why not? Let's add a black hole. Whoa, orbiting? This orbiting our sun. Okay, so it's going to be 10 million times the mass of our sun. Yes. So now we got... Whoa, shit. Whoa. Okay, so we got our black hole here. Ready to suck up this entire solar system. I don't know if it's going to be enough. This thing is very, very tiny compared to the vastness of all of this. That's actually insane looking, just being this far out of the solar system. And you have this nebula that's just slowly expanding towards you on this side. All of this shit, and then on the other side you just got blackness still. Whoa, look at that. It's something that you would see in Star Trek or Guardians of the Galaxy or something. Some it's like a something you would see in a movie. I'm gonna up the scale here. I need to I need all of these black holes to they need to clean up this place. Black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole. We got black holes galore. These things are just gonna be fighting throughout this solar system, sucking up everything. Yes, yes, more black holes. All 10 million times the mass of our sun. There we go, that's a great preview screen of this black hole, so I can still increase the size of this thing. What if I made this, oh wow, it's only a minuscule amount of the Milky Way? What if I made it exactly the mass of the Milky Way galaxy? Anything happening? It's only 0.197 astronomical units, which is the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Let's make it one astronomical unit wide. Boom! An even bigger massive black hole. Is everything, everything has to be racing towards this thing. And all the other black, whoa. Oh, we got, we got our first contender, ready to fight. Look at this, there it goes. Oh, whoa. I did not expect that. Uh, where's the black holes? There's, there still is. Is, it, uh, is that me lagging, my, was my voice lagging there? Trying to figure out what this thing is. What does this, what does this mean? What's the cosmic significance of this? We had two black holes crashing. What is this thing? <laughs> oh, okay, more battles. What the fuck? This thing's going at 92.6 times the speed of light right now. Um, I don't think this is physically possible. We got some light blob. It's like, is all this stuff just orbiting? Oh wait, ooh! And now it settled down. Okay. So... What? Now this black hole is 130 times the mass of the Milky Way. What is this thing? <laughs> Alright, well that was fun. I, that lagged my computer way too much. So I'm just starting a brand new simulation where we, where we put another black hole in. So, we got one black hole here, it's very massive, 10 million times the mass of the sun, and let's make this like a thousand times, wait no, a million times the mass of the Milky Way. Boom! Okay, now let's make this, let's make this, uh, one light year. <laughs> in the radius. Okay, even though it's completely black and you can't even see anything. Can you even see the Milky Way around here? You cannot. So, let's, uh, let's get, like, some stars orbiting this thing, if that is even possible. Alright, galaxy. Ooh. What if I placed in an entire galaxy? Let's place in... <laughs> what? Let's place in the Andromeda Galaxy. What the fuck? Why not? Why not? The mass is... million times. No, even bigger for some reason. Very big. Let's see what happens when the Andromeda Galaxy gets placed. Or is that... No, that's it. That's the Andromeda Galaxy. Whoa! What was that? The thing just moved. Okay, make go move slowly. Move slowly, I wanna see this shit happen. The Andromeda Galaxy was just 
starting to curve around my super amazing black hole. It's a million times the mass of the Milky Way. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so... Alright, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. Whoa! It's moving away, actually. What's it doing? What's it doing? It's leaving us! Or wait! No! No! Look at that shit! No way! Holy shit! The Andromeda Galaxy is getting pulled apart by my fucking black hole! <laughs> Look at it go! Although it's super wide, it's never gonna actually get, like, sucked in. That's insane! So wait, this is 33 years per second? How fast are these things traveling? That is, that is right, it says years per second, 33.8 years per second, holy shit. It's basically just turning this into a whole nother galaxy, it's just stirring the pot, I guess. And whatever was the center of the Andromeda Galaxy is clearly not the center anymore, but there is a fight. I really want something to get sucked up by this, but it seems like it's way too far away. What if I just like stuck a galaxy right in the middle of this thing? How come I just can't create the Milky Way? What's the pinwheel galaxy? Ooh, okay, so let's put a pinwheel galaxy in. Like, right here and see what happens. Okay, so that's been placed. Whoa, what's happening here? It's just stirring it all up. <laughs> we got a party go- Whoa, something just whizzed by. We got a party going on. Unfortunately, I think this is only in effect, so... I don't think that there's actually any objects that are going to crash into the galaxy, but that's- <laughs> I'm essentially- I'm creating my own galaxy right here, and look, this- this thing is like trying to see like, oh, what should I orbit? What should I orbit? What should I orbit? It's just spinning around. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's oh, that's the center of the galaxy right there. Let's put in this massive star and let's do things with it. We got massive star number one. Some people told me to add this star. I'm going to add uh, just our sun as comparison. Oh, so this star is a lot bigger than our star. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like our sun is now Mercury. And then this is the sun. Look at this. I'm pretty sure like these circles on this sun are bigger than the sun itself. What the hell? What if I just casually placed planet Earth right next to the sun? Okay, so planet Earth. You know. Maybe let's just put Earth about, you know, the, at the correct orbit with our sun. <laughs> so now Earth, we have orbiting. This gigantic sun, and it's probably like so bright. I think we're already... Oh, God! Oh, Earth is losing its water. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Earth is fucking dying. Oh, my God. Being this close. I mean, I think we're still... The light is causing my game to freak out. Jesus. But I, I, Earth was like a comet for a second. I think all of the water on the planet just ended up evaporating and actually escaped the planet. Still going up, though. Oh! Now Earth is turning into a comet. Okay, so it's at 1400 degrees. This <laughs> is... It's currently outgassing, so I wonder if that's actually going to affect its orbit. It still has clouds, though, so that's okay, <laughs> I guess. Supernova Type 1A. What kind of supernova is this? How, how are we going to trigger this supernova? Apparently, there's going to be a supernova. What's going on here? It's sucking up things. It's charging up my spirit bomb. I'll do this for four episodes if I have to, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Charging up my spirit bomb. Yep. We go blow up, blow up, <gasps> boom! This thing on. It appears that our sun has grown pimples, and I think they're disappearing. What the fuck? This is like a neutron star. Oh, that's why. Wait, how? Where's? Let me get Earth. Hold on here. This is weird. This is a tiny star. Earth. Wait, that's Earth? This thing is smaller than the size of Earth? Oh, and this is where it would be if it was far away. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Earth would be white hot. Look at that! It's a white ball because it's so close. 
Oh my god, I got Earth orbiting this thing. <laughs> that is crazy. Let me slow it down even more. Hey, Earth. <laughs> it's generating almost no light, but it's so massive and so hot 